वेलकम टू एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गो थ्रू द डिफरेंट डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट द फंक्शन ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिक्स स्टेटिस्टिक्स कैन बी डिफाइंड इन टू सेंस इन प्लूडल सेंस एंड इन सिंगुलर सेंस स्टेटिस्टिक्स डिफाइंड इन प्लूडल सेंस लेट एस कंसिडर वेदर फिगर्स सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड एटी ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एंड थर्टी आर स्टेटिस्टिक फिगर्स आर इनोसेंट एंड डू नॉट स्पीक एनी थिंग बट वेन दे रिफर टू सम प्लेस पर्सन टाइम एक्सेट्रा दे आर कॉल स्टेटिस्टिक लेट एस लुक एट द टेबल द टेबल गिवस अस अ न्यूमेरिकल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन केंद्र विद्यालय एंड गवर्नमेंट सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स आर ग्रुप्ड एज बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स and percentage is calculated for each group now in this context the figure 1600 400 700 etc have a statistical meaning we call the statistics of students similarly we find in newspaper statistic of scores in a cricket match statistic of price statistics of agriculture production statistic of export and import etc according to horace sekrest by statistic we mean aggregates of facts affected to a marked extent by multiplicity of cause numerically expressed enumerated or estimated according to reasonable standard of accuracy collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose and placed in relation to each other The previous definition covers the following main points about statistics as numerical presentation of facts in plural sense. First point, statistics are aggregates of facts. A single observation is not statistic. It is a group of observation. For example, pocket expenses of Anil during a month is rupees 50 is not statistics, but pocket expenses of Anil, Prakash, Sunil and suresh during a month are rupees 50 55 80 and 70 respectively are statistic second point statistics are affected to a marked extent by multiplicity of causes statistics are generally not isolated facts they are dependent on or influenced by a number of phenomena for example electricity bills are affected by consumption and rate of electricity third point statistics are numerically expressed qualitative statements are not statistic unless they are supported by numbers for example if we say that the students of a class are very good in studies it is not a statistical statement but when a statement reads that 40 students got first division 30 got second division 20 got third division and 10 failed out of 100 students it is a statistical statement expressed numerically fourth point statistics are enumerated or estimated according to reasonable standard of accuracy enumeration means a precise and accurate numerical statement but sometimes where the area of statistical inquiry is large accurate enumeration may not be possible in such cases experts make estimation on the basis of whatever data is available the degree of accuracy of estimates depend on the nature of inquiry fifth point statistics are collected in a systematic manner statistics collected without any order and system are unreliable and inaccurate they must be collected in a systematic manner sixth point statistics are collected for a predetermined purpose unless statistics are collected for a specific purpose they would be more or less useless for example if we want to collect statistics of agriculture production we must decide beforehand the regions commodities and period for which they are required and the last point statistics are placed in relation to each other statistical data are often required for comparisons therefore they should be comparable period wise region wise commodity wise etc 
when all the characteristics are not present numerical data cannot be called statistic thus all statistics are numerical statements of fact but all numerical statements of facts are not statistics statistics defined in singular sense according to croxton and cowden statistics may be defined as a science of collection presentation analysis and interpretation of numerical data one more definition according to lovett statistics is the science which deals with the collection classification and tabulation of numerical facts as a basis for the explanation description and comparison of phenomena statistics in its second singular sense refers to the methods adopted for scientific empirical studies whenever a large amount of numerical data are collected there arises a need to organize present analyze and interpret them the previous definition covers the following statistical tools the first is collection of data this is the first step in a statistical study and is the foundation of statistical analysis therefore data should be gathered with maximum care by the investigator himself or obtained from reliable published or unpublished sources second step organization of data figures that are collected by an investigator needs to be organized by editing classifying and tabulating third step presentation of data data collected and organized are presented in some systematic manner to make statistical analysis easier the organized data can be presented with the help of tables graphs diagram etc fourth step analysis of data the next stage is the analysis of the presented data there are large number of methods used for analyzing the data such as averages dispersion correlation etc and the last step interpretation of data interpretation of data implies the drawing of conclusion on the basis of the data analyzed in the earlier stage on the basis of this conclusion certain decisions can be taken according to the figure interpretation of data is the last stage in order to draw some conclusion one has to go through the four stages to arrive at the final stage they are collection organization presentation and analysis in brief statistic is a method of taking decisions on the basis of numerical data properly collected organized presented analyzed and interpreted next function of statistic following are the function of statistic first statistics simplifies complex data with the help of statistical methods a mass of data can be presented in such a manner that they become easy to understand for example the complex data may be presented as totals averages percentage etc the numerical measures helps to summarize data it would be impossible for you to remember the income of all the people in a data if the number of people is very large yet one can remember easily a summary figure like the average income that is obtained statistically in this way statistics summarize and present meaningful overall information about a mass of data second point presents the fact in a definite form this definiteness is achieved by starting conclusions in a numerical or quantitative form statistics enable an economics to present economic facts in a precise and definite form that helps in proper comprehension of what is stated when economic facts are expressed in statistical terms they became exact facts are more convincing than vague statements for instance saying that 310 people died in the recent earthquake in kashmir is more factual and thus a statistical data whereas saying hundreds of people dies is not a statistical data third point provide a technique of comparison comparison is an important function of statistics 
for example comparison of data of different regions periods conditions etc is helpful for drawing economic conclusion some of the statistical tools like averages ratio percentage etc are used for comparison fourth point statistics studies relationship correlation analysis is used to discover functional relationship between different phenomena for example relationship between supply and demand relationship between sugar cane prices and sugar relationship between advertisement and sale statistics helps in finding the association between two or more attributes for example association between literacy and unemployment association between inoculation and infection etc fifth function statistics help in formulating policies many policies such as that part of import export wages production etc are formed on the basis of statistics some laws such as malthus theory of population and engels law of family expenditure are based on statistic sometimes formulation of plans and policy requires the knowledge of future trends for example an economic planner has to decide in 2010 how much the economy should produce in 2015 in other words one must know what could be the expected level of consumption in 2015 in order to decide the production plan of the economy for 2015 in this situation one might make subjective judgment based on the guess about consumption in 2015 alternatively one might use statistical tools to product consumption in 2015 that could be based on the data of consumption of past years or the recent years obtained through surveys today we increasingly use statistic to analyze serious economic problem such as rising prices growing population unemployment poverty etc to find measures that can solve such problems further it also helps to evaluate the impact of policies in solving the economic problem for example it can be ascertained easily using statistical techniques whether the policy of progressive taxation is effective in checking the problems of unequal distribution of income sixth helps in forecasting statistic also helps to predict the future behavior of phenomena such as market situation for the future is predicted on the basis of available statistic of past and present economist might be interested in predicting the changes in one economic factor due to the changes in another factor for example he might be interested to know the impact of today's investment on the national income in future which is possible with the knowledge of statistic seventh helps to test and formulate theories when some theory is to be tested statistical data and techniques are useful for example whether cigarette smoking causes cancer whether demand increases affects the price can be tested by collecting and comparing the relevant data eighth statistics helps in understanding economical problem statistic is an indispensable tool for an economist that helps to understand an economic problem using its various method effort is made to find the causes behind it with the help of quantitative facts of the economic problems ninth function intersectoral and intertemporal comparison statistic comprehends the numerical data through intersectoral and intertemporal comparisons intersectoral comparisons refers to comparison across the different sectors of the economy for example analyzing the problems of unemployment statistic would help to tell the magnitude of unemployment across rural and urban sector of the economy intertemporal comparison means understanding of change in the magnitude of the problem over time for example making a comparison of the rural and urban unemployment in different time periods 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोज़